Hey guys and welcome back to Factorissimo Factorio with a Roomba. How's it going, Roomba? Hey, uh, Steejo, how's it going? Uh, Doing well? Pretty good, pretty good. Right, I'm just setting up the, uh, some of the logic for the trains. So basically, what I, I don't know if you've used any of the new train stuff. Uh, like what? Oh my god, there we go. Um, how you can make them wait until certain conditions, as opposed to just always wait until 30 seconds have passed. Oh uh, yeah, I, the one I just used for the most part is, uh, what in the hell is happening here? I'm, I'm holding shift right click to like grab a locked slot. Okay, apparently if there's items in there and you shift right click to like copy, uh, copy like a cargo wagon restriction, it takes half the stuff out of the cargo wagon. You have to clear out the slot before you can copy paste. That's <laughs> weird. Nice. Uh, about how many uh, big electric poles do you want in this first barrel wagon? Like 200, 600, 400? I have no idea. Well, uh, I gotta remember how far it works again. How often is it placing uh... Uh, max distance? Alright, so you're placing. Are you placing lights on the train tracks? No. No, but I could. Oh, no cements. I love the way that lights look on the train track, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah, we could do that. That's fine. Um, so you're using uh, 15 distance between rail signals, and is that placing like a... That's placing a single... Okay, you don't need very many... Very many... What are they called? Chain signals, but you do need one to one ratio of. No, it's placing two. Okay, two to one. But they're not placing them equivalently. Big electric poles versus rail signal. I hate that. Can you fix it? Can you make it so that it lines up the signals with the poles? Um, I much prefer it that no, way. No. The issue is, whenever you do corners, it puts them out of alignment. Oh. Well, fine, be that way. Whee! Please don't run me over. I'm not even controlling this, this is automatic. If you get run mm -hmm. over, it's your own damn fault. Okay. Why is this only loading onto one side? Oh, because you fucked it. Did I do it wrong? Oh, I probably forgot to reverse some of the belt. Yeah, you've got to go the... the opposite way. Yeah. When you're loading it this way. Yeah, I fucked them all up. Derp. You want them to be like that, but then reversed, I think. There we go. No, that's not right. Wait a second, how do you, how do, you do this again? So, it needs to be... Oh, like that. is that what I did? Is that what I did? Alright, fuck. Yeah, there you go. No, 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 because I, copy, I copied the one from before. Yes, but that was upside down before. But that's gonna fuck the designs, DJ. Insert our logic, dude. You need to f do you even uh, freaking on the left <laughs> only, yeah, you're right. Damn it. Damn you, game. Gotta learn how to be consistent, game. Um, excuse me. What? You don't like what I'm doing? Oh no, I swapped it to manual. I was wondering why the iron train was not going where it was supposed to. All right, well, I'll figure out uh, all way. So this guy and this guy merge together. Call it there. And uh, see, this this is this is not really actually going to work uh, unless I do this. Okay, I'll figure it out, see Joe. Don't worry. Don't you worry, okay. your little head. Don't you worry, your little head. All right. Uh, uh, no, it's still actually not going to work, is it? Son of a bitch. This this design worked perfectly on the bottom of the track, but I, apparently it doesn't translate well to the top of the track. Crap. Um... <laughs> That's really cool. Alright, I can make it work. What's really cool? What'd you do now? Have you... have you used the... 
the wire directly on a transport belt. What? No. This is news to me. Where'd you do it? Oh, what the hell? You just attach wire and it puts that little thing there? Yep, and then you can stop the belt. Based on what? What's the criteria that you put? Based on stop. whatever. I don't have any condition on it. All you did was what, change it to hold and it just stopped it, or? Yep. Well, okay. change the enable disable. Okay. But you can get it to read the content and then do different things through, like, depend on what's on the belt. Uh huh. I know, that's super interesting. I can imagine quite a lot of uh, really, really interesting applications for that. Yeah, are you gonna, are you gonna do them? Possibly. You can't do it with splitters though, that would be interesting. Oh, I'm sure there's a mod for it. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you can do it just after the splitter, but it'd be nice to be able to do something on the splitter. Okay, we still need to get the big electric poles being made and added to the train. So, that's these guys. I was just thinking of a way that we could make this station work, but change um, where we sent stuff. So, if it was copper, then it would stop certain things and send to other places. That makes sense. I think so, yeah. So if we had copper coming through, then it would stop certain belts. What, to like prevent errors? Or? No, just so that we could have the same, like a multi station without filters, without filter inserts. Okay. Is that necessary? Not really. It was just more of a I wonder. <laughs> it, it can be done, therefore we should do it. Yeah. Kind of thing. Pretty much See, like got... the the entire train station in the last system, in the last uh, series that we've done. All right, something's wrong with the uh, science. We're really getting very little science done. Is it just the iron shortage, or are we like out of oil? Let me head into here. We've got plenty of iron. I don't uh, know what the oil's we're, like. we're lacking filter inserters, and the filter inserters are made freaking somewhere. I don't. Filter inserters are not being made because we lack. Iron. Yeah, it's just the iron shortage. Okay. Oil looks... I don't want to say good, but oil looks okay for now. Where the hell do we make oil? Uh, over here? No, I... I shit, I don't remember. <laughs> Someone had said... Oh, okay, there was, a, there was a post on my server, like, how to keep track of what factories do, and they said you just put, like, a chest outside and, like... Yeah, I got a comment a saying the exact same thing. Yeah, just put a couple of units of that stuff in there. Uh, we've got 191 petroleum in each of the tanks inside the oil factory building. And that's it. Um, we need more oil. We're gonna need to set up an oil depot soon. We have no crude. Oh oil. yeah, is it an oil oil issue? Uh, n no. Were you listening a moment ago, Steve? I just started. It's an iron issue, but we're gonna run out of iron or run out of oil soon. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's not gonna be an, oil, an iron issue. Because, well, it's not an iron, a raw iron issue, is it an iron smelting issue? For now, yeah. But we just oh. we just hooked all that stuff up. Yeah. Fuck. No, 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 no. I just picked up a load of iron by accident. Okay. Okay, so in your Farrell wagon you got tons of rail. I just love the fact that you don't have to reserve slots for curved rail now. Because you never yeah. knew exactly how much curve rail you'd need, but tons of rail, and then 200 signals. Actually, you probably need more signals, honestly. I'm gonna double that up. So eight. That's 400 signals, and we'll do 200. Uh, 200 big electric poles, because that's the correct ratio, and then like 100 chain signals, because you well, you're probably not gonna use that many actually. But 100 is just a good number. Is there anything <laughs> else you want in the fall? Um, like we could do, we could do the. The diggers, maybe a few splitters, like one stack of splitters could be useful. Yeah, splitters, splitters would underground be useful. belt and yeah. belt. Oh. Can we do that in the, oh. the back? The yep, that's what I was thinking. Um, I guess we're still just using regular transport belt for now, yeah. Yeah. So we'll do regular belt. We'll do. I mean, you don't really need anything belt. faster than <coughs> faster than that. Yeah, for wagons. Yeah. Uh, I I do feel like I'm I'm gonna reserve a slot for lights. Assuming we place two lights at every. Like, if you update the Farl blueprint, 
Could you please? Because I, I really like the lights. <laughs> I really do. Alright. Yeah. Um, I have no idea where my Faro Blueprint has went. You're, I died. You're all... Oh yeah, you're also, you're, uh, your electrical poles are placed kind of funny on the diagonal. Look at this, over here. You notice how instead of being like, yeah. right here, they're off by one. Oh no, that's just because I manually placed that. Oh, so you have no ability to aim, basically. You're bad at this game, is what it comes yeah. down to. You, uh, okay. you don't want to see what my bathroom looks like. Oh, nice, yeah. <laughs> see, it's right. a joke. <laughs> uh, that's that's going to be a lot of reserve slots for lights, though. But that's okay. So eight reserve slots for lights. That's two per every l big electric pole. We will also reserve... I just feel like, I just like 100. Like 50 is too too few, you know? I think. Yeah, fine. And a fuck ton of transport belt. <laughs> And then I suppose, should we reserve a slot for wood and stone, just so that Farrell can always make sure to... Will, will Farrell automatically just delete the wood if there's no space? Uh, it drops it on the floor. Oh, I don't like that. Do you like that? No. <laughs> yeah, wood and stone would be good. And miners. Like, I want like two, two slots for miners. Two slots for stone, maybe quite a few slots for wood, and then like two yeah. slots for... I do. I think we need four... I think we need 200 miners. Because you're never going to run into an issue where 200 yeah. is not enough, but 100 yeah, just can oftentimes... Yeah, just for the rest of it. Yeah, 100 can oftentimes be not enough. Once you start getting farther away. Okay, so we'll bring this stuff over. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different types of stuff, so we need more inserters. Right, settings. Uh... Oh my god. You know what? I could probably get by Fuck with just Farrell. three. What did Farrell do to you? I was just thinking I need to have the blueprints on my uh, on my hotbar for Farrell. Okay, alright. So that's that's kind of an annoying little thing there. Uh, let's see if this research is okay. going to pop up. Yeah. You know, so research, it, it, uh, we, we added another mod as well called Auto Research. It just chooses the cheapest thing with the fewest science pack requirements, starting from red and then red green, then red green blue. So just well, automatically queued up. But the, what's annoying though is that it it uh, the research queue mod popped up. The GUI popped up for me. Did it pop up for you? Yeah. Oops. I don't if know. it does that every time, that's going to be annoying. Yeah. We should just either get rid of it or or use. It's like one or the other here, really. Did it just pop I kinda, up for you there? Yeah, it did. I, I kind of yeah. prefer the auto queue actually, because that is usually the criteria that I go for most of the time. Is just pick the cheapest thing. Yeah, and just as long as we've actually got something researching. Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe, research uh, queue. All we do is just spam a load of stuff. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna queue up a bunch of stuff, but remind me between episodes. Let's just ditch that mod. Is that okay with you? Yep. Ooh, personal RoboPort. Nice. Can we get robots? Uh, we can totally make robots, we just have to take the time to build them. So make some robots. <laughs> Alright, you you do that. I'm, I'm working on your Farl train for the future here. Oh. You dummy. Okay, so you're gonna grab, say, belt and underground belt. Splitters. Figures, lights. Uh, remove tails. One, two, three, four, five. I'm a dummy, it's only five items. And we could do the same thing with this one, actually. Where do you want the lights on it? Uh... I, I oh, usually right, okay. put them on the, either, either side of the pole. Yeah, there really is only like one decent place for them. Yeah. And then the diagonal one looks great when you put them diagonal, you know. And this was that guy. I don't even remember what this bottom one was going to be. Oh, big electric poles. Okay. All right. 
and right mouse button to open remove tiles remove walls okay i don't know where um, Can you see this? Uh, Why would you put the lights on this? Uh, let me come to you. Um, I usually do it like... Because you're going to moan if I put it in a place that you don't like. Like that. There. Yeah, okay. Symmetry. It's important. That's not where I would have put them, so I'm glad I asked. I mean, it's a diagonal section and it just kind of looks alright. I don't know. Whatever you want, man. It's cool. I'm like, um, I'm, I'm totally not bothered, which is why I asked you. Yeah. I'm in a good mood today, so I don't care. Wow. I mean, I do care, but I don't really. All right, we there are lacking go. steel. I think we need more iron smelting. Honestly, I think I think it is an issue now of just not getting enough done. Oh, I yeah. also heard that we should definitely not ever. Oh my try God. to copy a factory and place it down with robots. Really? Why? Yeah. What happens? I don't know. I think it explodes. I don't believe you. Yeah, but I've been I've been told off of multiple people. Under no circumstances should you place a robot. Uh, should you place a factory with the robots? I think those multiple people are lying to you. <laughs> and that it's a great idea, and we should totally try it at least once for science. A great idea. Great. God, I can't play with you without you saying that at least once a week. Great. Well, that's why. Of I course, said it's it. just it's just a word I know for you, but for me, it's you know. it's everything. For me, it's life. Right. <laughs> right, I just reverse these, so I gotta gotta pick it up manually. Clear the line. And I don't think you really needed to, but all right. Why not using stack filter inserters, huh? Uh, that was a joke. Because that would be unnecessary, mostly. <laughs> it would be completely overkill. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that, that definitely restricted that down a little bit. Let's, uh, I only need three lines to get these five components over. I wish they just made the, the upgrade planner just, like, a green blueprint as opposed to having the arrow and the belt and the this and the that all on it. It just doesn't need it. Just make a green blueprint just say, this is the upgrade planner. Well, it used to be. It used to be yellow, if you remember. Yellow, yeah. I don't know why they changed it. It's kind of dumb, actually. Yeah. Mod yeah. Creator, if you're watching, you're dumb. We think it's dumb. Um, I swear I'm hearing a buzzing. Is that is that just me? Is there a buzzing? Probably your AC, noise? man. <laughs> no, no, it's not my AC. It, feels, it sounds like, like a phone vibrating. Is there? Do you have a phone? <laughs> I do have a phone, yes. I, I do not live is in it? the Dark Ages. It's not vibrating, no. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I don't trust you. Probably just my sex toy. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> this, is so, this is so random. I, I, there was a... Was on Reddit yesterday, there was a vibrator race. Uh, one of the top <laughs> links on Reddit for a while. It's just the whole, sorry, it's like a whole bunch of dildos, and they were they were racing down like a shoot. It's pretty funny. Did you see the uh, the the one from the Olympics that was um, Mace Windu helping the gymnast? No, what was that one? Uh, well, you know Mace Windu from Star Wars. Samuel L. Jackson plays him. Uh, nope. But okay. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, okay. there was a bald black guy in the back of the gymnastics, and the chick was about to fall off the um. I don't know, it was a fucking bar that she was standing on. And you just see yeah, him, like, put his hand out and, like, push her. But obviously he's miles away. <laughs> and then she just, like, regains her balance. It's just one of these perfectly oh, so, timed uh, moments. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's like a play on Star Wars, get it? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now I have way, way more signals than I would ever want, so just stand nice. still for a second. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're the train guy. Okay, I know how to fix this. <laughs> did you see? Uh, did Did you see the um, live? That guy broke his arm. I didn't watch no? it. I can't watch it. A guy broke his arm while doing while doing like a deadlift or like something. 
live <laughs> in in the Olympics just a couple like two days ago. And it was no, crazy. I did not see I, that. I was watching uh I was watching the Olympics for a while and you know nothing happens, but I was watching those events and I'm really glad that I didn't see it because that's the kind of thing that that link will stay blue. You know, I, I yeah. do not want to see someone break their arm. It Ouch. just freaks me out. I don't like our factory. Uh, the I factory never, doesn't I, like you. I never but, like any factory though. Unfortunately, that's all that we've got time for in this episode. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Studio. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right. See you soon.